Here, big, 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 big. Hey folks, this is Justin at Matt Kyth Mills, bringing you Story Time Tuesday. This crap that's been going on with me has been up and down, so I think I'm finally on the <clears throat> downhill side of the upside. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about pigs and how important they are and have been here in the mountains. When people <clears throat> settled these mountains, pigs was the staple. Couldn't have survived without them. And they used everything about them. They rendered the lard to make all kind of, use it in bread and just all kinds of cooking and seasoning. And most of the people around here <coughs> <coughs> they salt cured the meat in a smokehouse. Lot well, most of the time they called it a smokehouse, but it was just a place where they salted the meat down. <coughs> Some of them didn't have any smoke, but they had salt, salt the midlands down, the, you know, the fat back, and usually salt the hams down. A lot of times they'd make sausage out of the shoulders. And that's how they survived. It's how they lived along with wild game. Just a very important <clears throat> staple to survival here in the mountains, pork was. And, you know, they'd eat, they'd just go out to the smokehouse, cut them off some meat, whenever they wanted it after it was cured and it kept just fine through hot weather and all that <coughs> <coughs> what happens that salt draws out all the moisture and no bacteria can live so it preserves the meat and uh it's really good eating if you've never had it before some people uh, uh, was so disciplined about how they used it, they would save their ham and stuff till hot weather when they was really working hard out, you know, farming all day. And they wouldn't eat their ham and stuff like that until then. They'd eat that best meat when they was working their hardest. <clears throat> I thought, I always thought that was interesting. But hogs are just so important. They always have been to survival. And hog butchering day was a big event. All the neighbors would come together and help each other. And it's just a big event to get everything done. And it made it easy. <coughs> Nobody had a real hard time because everybody helped each other with it. And then you've got enough meat to do you for the next year. And good healthy meat. Nothing in it. No preservatives. Nothing like that. Just good healthy stuff. And they would use every bit of the hog that they could <coughs> the way most of the people here in the mountains would butcher they would uh, scrape the hogs scrape the hair off the skin and the way you have to do that after the animal is ready you have to take hot water and pour it over the skin and take a they make scraping tools, either a scraping tool or just some not real sharp tool and you scrape that hair off and it gets it down to clean skin. And they would, uh, when they went to salt it down, they'd put a layer of salt down on the 
table in the smokehouse and lay the meat down skin side down and let it cool. And then they'd usually put salt and pepper, a mixture of, well, red pepper, black pepper, and then cover it up with salt and let it stay for a couple weeks and then break that salt off and, and cover it up with salt again. And that would keep it. And that's the way I've always done my my pork when I butchered hogs. and It works really good. You know, you got that good good meat to season with and eat. And it's just really nice. It's handy. This has been a kind of a short story on pigs in the mountains. And there's a lot more I could tell you, but... <clears throat> Maybe another time I can get to the rest of it, but I wanted to get you a little something out for story time Tuesday. I hope it's been a little bit fun. If I wasn't fun, maybe these pigs is fun. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Hope everybody's doing good. And if I don't see you before, I'll see you on Friday, I hope. This is Justin at Matt Kaif Mills. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you will and subscribe if you've not already. I look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah.